Hey everyone, this is Eric again with VBAHowTo.com and VBAString.com. So I'm coming at you with a video about how to insert a module. A real simple video, real short. Hopefully this is pretty short. Um, some of you may be thinking, well, VBA is really nice, but where do I start? Well, this video is going to tell you how you start. Um, First of all, we're looking at this. It's an S -F X L S X. So uh, it's going to give you problems when I'm trying to save this. This is just a basic workbook. Like to, uh, if you were to start off with the cell and type two and four, and then say equals uh, two plus four. Well. It's kind of simplistic, but anyway, the FCLX XLSX is for the simple calculation like that, not to handle any macros. So if you need any macros in here, uh, you get a complaint from Excel saying you can't do that. And so we have to save it as a macro enabled workbook. But before we do that, uh, here's how you insert a module. So first off, we got to bring up the VBE edit, the Visual Basic Editor, VBE Editor. I'm pressing Alternate on my keyboard and F11. And I'm bringing up this. Okay, this is the Visual Basic Editor. And notice how this is a brand new workbook. So here, uh, the only thing I'm going to do is in this, in this left hand corner here, I'm going ahead and <clears throat> right clicking and choosing insert module right click insert module and that's it that's how you do it um just for fun so i don't leave you hanging uh <laughs> sub uh test and then bang it does it all itself okay it's real real, real simple to use and then something like best box uh, hi. Okay, just something real simple. This is a procedure, by the way. Uh, a module is a compilation of all your all the procedures, and this can be okay. VBA VBA code, and this is just a simplistic example, but it could be uh, more comprehensive. So, and then I'm pressing F5, and I get my result here high. Great. So, I'm all done. Now, if I want to go ahead and I want to save this, I click on Save. And notice that I get this message, the following features can be saved macro free report workbooks. VB. Notice how I said at the beginning of the video that you can't save uh you can say VBA in a uh, just a regular macro free workbook. Well, this is a macro free workbook, so I'm going to add and doing yes. Um, now it's gonna it's gonna allow me to save it. No, it's gonna reject it. But let's see. I'm gonna save it as I'm gonna save the whole workbook as as a macro workbook macro enable work really. so i go file save as and i'm going to go here because this is where i have my stuff and notice that I save as type uh save as xl fm i have a bunch of choices here okay at the top macro enable workbook bang Okay, new worksheet, XLSM, and save. Boom. Okay, great. I get this weird message. That's okay. And now if I go ahead, okay, this is fine. Now if I want to add onto my message box, like I, I won't get a weird message uh, saying you can't do that. Again, hi, critical. And this is a, it just, this second argument of the message box just says what type of message box do you want. And it's just for, just for demonstration, I'm doing critical. 
and it shows you something different, uh, the different sound and the different uh, logo high critical. Okay. And if I click save, I just get this weird message. And this is a confirmation that it, but I notice how I didn't get any other messages and I go ahead and close this and we're good to go. Now for all of y'all who want to know about uh, access, do it the same way. Press alternate F11 and here I have no, these are modules. Okay, fitting because we're we have a modules tab on the Excel uh, access in the access window. We don't have modules here yet, but you know it's a it's an object type. If you don't know that, now you do. And I choose insert, right click, choose insert and module, and then here I'm saying uh, sub uh, X and uh, message box message uh, message box hi or yeah hi good okay and then here I don't get any weird messages because it's access um bass test why not and bass, I prefix it with bass, the basic module. It's not a class of module or nothing. It's just a basic one. So then now notice that I now have a module in my in my database. Go ahead and close this down. It's bass test. If I double click on it, I get this. And if I press the F5, it says hi to me. It's all friendly. That's great. Okay, hopefully you got a lot out of this, and, <clears throat> oh, and you don't want to see all that, but coming out to vbahowto.com, or click the link if you want to further your education in the course, and, or just come on out to vbahowto.com or vbahstring.com, and you'll learn a lot. I got a whole, whole bunch of stuff that you can learn from out here. Uh, so, uh, vbahowto.com, or the Excel version is vb, uh, vbastring.com. So, come on out. I'm sure you'll really like it. And uh, make sure you don't like this video and don't subscribe to my channel because if I tell you not to do it, you're probably going to do it anyway. So have a good day. Bye.